once again everybody and welcome to Lawrence Plays Factorio. Today we're having a bit of a uh, Friday Night Fact Factorio session because um, I've been left all at home all alone by myself so I thought well what, what, what better way to spend a Friday night than um, than with some beer and some Factorio. So where were we last week, last time? Well we just finished building up this um, belt system here and I've been using the belts from this to upgrade some of the um, facilities around the factory because I've noticed I was horrifically low on um, on steel coming through here because it's all getting used up by the belts obviously but still um, it's clearly not being made quickly enough so I think I had a bit of a poke at it and but to be honest it's obviously not been enough there's still not enough steel coming through and if we look up here it's because there's not enough iron coming through into this area so there's quite a lot coming up here but but it's not getting used up so I think the um, the uh, next, the next step for this, and the, is to have a look at this and try and work out what I can do to improve the um, the steel, to increase the speed of the steel production. The obvious thing is to um, speed up this belt still further and turn it into a red belt all the way down, and then maybe even put in another belt on the other side, so I've got literally twice as much being potentially potentially being made. And I'll find out then if the oxygen supply from here can keep up with it. And this tank is full, so there's definitely room for a bit more to be made. So that's going to be my first project, getting the uh, steel production up and up and running it a bit a bit more efficiently. Once that's done, I'm going to have another look at trains because I've now done the research for the for the improved trains that I was try I've been trying to get hold of. Because I've noticed that the iron, this ore here coming in here, is getting used up very very quickly by all the iron smelting. Uh, so I'd like to make sure that doesn't doesn't run out by essentially, essentially just by bringing more of it in. It would help. I oh know I've got. I've got yellow but not red. It would help if I'd actually picked up some of those belts that were being made, wouldn't it? Oh well, it's given a chance to make a few more of them before I get down there. So if I can get red everywhere for the um, for that uh, steel facility, that's going to work quite nicely. There's only, only 11 of them. Okay, this might be why I wasn't doing it earlier. And also, why is this not running? What are you missing? You're missing steel gears because they're all getting used up by the earlier stages of production. Okay, um... Let's steal a few of the... How many does it take? 14. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's... I've not got very much of this. Uh, maybe I'll take, if I take the undergrounds as well, then I can hopefully do some bridging with those and save a few. So this is going to, this is going to be rather difficult because I don't... My red belt production is running too slowly because I don't have enough steel coming through. And the I don't have enough steel coming through because I can't make enough red belts to speed the whole system up. <clears throat> I suppose I could, in theory, drive into pipes everywhere. I could, in theory, um, improve the the uh, rate the steel was coming through along here um, by. Um, this is why I shouldn't play Factorio when I've been drinking. Eleven of these. Let's see what that does. Not very much is the answer. Okay, so if I get some underneath these here, for that bit, split this off like that and that. I'm going to need some more of these chem chemical furnaces. Now, I could put in steel chemical furnaces along here, and that would increase the rate it was able to deal with the... Um, in fact, that might be the best way to do this, actually. Rather than rather than splitting this off, if I just put in steel chemical furnaces down here, then that might help quite a lot. Uh, that requires, of course, lots of steel steel pipes and steel plates, and... that's Okay, that's going to be a bit of a problem, um, again everything just sort of hinges on this lack of steel I've got. Why isn't this... Oh, my ammunition's caught up. That's that's interesting. Surpri surprising, actually. I didn't realise I was building quite that much of it, but apparently I've got now got enough to, uh, to fill everywhere with um, piercing ammunition. Fantastic. Okay. That means I don't need to feel bad about stealing this steel along here. And let's make some of those. Because looking at this system here now, I do have just about enough iron coming I've got enough iron coming through that all of these machines are running flat out except for this one that can't get any oxygen so let's get rid of that and conveniently th these are just slot and replacements and are hopefully about twice as fast yeah crafting speed 2 crafting speed, yeah so that so just replacing them with these machines is going to double the steel output as long as I don't run out of iron on the input here what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this around a little bit so that I can get slightly more slightly, uh, a few more of these in here by being yeah, by just basically dodging this pipe as it comes through. I might put in another one. No, I can't put in another one at the top. There's the stuff in the way. Come on. So that can't go there, as we discovered, but it can go there, and then it's fine all the way down. Let's make these ones go near side. These 
inserters are going absolutely flat out, so I'm going to upgrade them. Okay, we're now down to the I'm not putting in enough iron problem again. <coughs> That's probably the best problem to have at this point, and it's a full, yeah, it's a full red a full yellow belt feeding onto half a red belt here so that's almost as, that's about as good as it gets what i could do down here is i could split this yellow belt here and then feed more on like that now this will reduce the amount that can be put in from the top but it is getting topped up by this belt from along here so that might not be a problem uh, this might as well go back get fed in as well why are you not running oh you've not got any oxygen no you have oh yeah that's why that's a tank, not a, a pipe, and I may, and I use the inline tank rather than the crossover tank for um, because I thought I might want to have some, another pipe running down the side of it or something, but uh, that was obviously a mistake. Now that oxygen tank has dropped from 2.4 to 2.1. That's a little bit of a worry. That suggests that maybe we're using up the oxygen faster than we can create it. It does seem to be holding steady though, though for now, so maybe it's not too much of a problem. Okay, so that is quite successfully turning basically turning an entire yellow belt of of iron into and actually more than that it's turning like one and a, almost one and a half yellow belts of iron into a dribble of steel so I think I've maybe tripled my steel production doing that um, I don't know if that's going to be enough but it's certainly going to be a damn sight better than it was before and down here it just hasn't propagated this far down the bus yet it's a bit of a worry though I feel like I'm yeah, steel is, is going to be one of those things that's potentially going to be a big problem. Maybe I need to build some sort of large steel processing facility that will take in enormous quantities of stearite, sapphirite, whichever one this is. Um, sapphirite, apparently. Take in large quantities of sapphirite and output large quantities of steel and just make that bigger and bigger and bigger until it copes. Although that said, I mean, saying that, I could potentially, there's there's no reason I couldn't pull even more steel out of this, sorry, even more iron out of this system, because it is now essentially full, so it's clearly able to keep up with what I'm doing at the moment without any problem at all. I could potentially, once I've got red belts coming out of my ears, I could take another one of these up here, but then at that point, what's the point in doing it up here? I'm only doing it up here because that's where the iron supply was before, and it's where the ammunition factory is. What might make more sense is to squeeze it in down here somewhere and now this system is just producing lead I don't seem to be doing anything else clever here and I don't know if I'm going to want to but I could potentially put a big steel system in this in this forest here or up here I think that's probably the best thing to do next so something like this but down here now I was I've got these two different ways of producing oxygen I forget whether I decided one was better than the other. This one's cleaner because it doesn't have any side effects. It just produces the, well, it produces oxy oxygen and it produces nitrogen, which can be blown off out of a flare stack easily enough. This one produces the slag, which needs to be crushed and adds to my um, endless crushed stone problem, uh, which is something else I was going to upgrade as well, wasn't it? Let's write that on my to-do list, if I can find a pen. Yes, I'm actually doing this on paper. Um, crush stone to bricks. So, yeah, this isn't isn't being pulled through. But then I'm caring a lot less about this now than I was before because I'm not really using the outputs of it that heavily. It's, it is largely just for this ammunition. So, yeah, I think I can basically ignore that. Uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, so this, this machine produces 50 oxygen every two seconds um, and has a crafting speed of almost two. So that's uh, 50 oxygen a second. This one produces 30 oxygen per 4 seconds. So these are much, much slower. Let's stick with the air compressors and the air splitters. Um, okay, so let's head down and have a think about that. And clear out some forest as well. Although I seem to be down to two grenades. That's going to make clearing the forest hard. Let's get some more of those first. Grenades north or south? There they are, those grenades. Die, damn trees. Right, that's all the trees gone. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to want two belts coming down into here. Um, I should probably replace this with a, a four-way balancer, really, to in, in order to make sure I'm pulling from all of the systems equally. Um, and that probably wants to be red. Let's go and see if we've got any more red. Um, I've left my car somewhere again. Damn it. It's all the way up there? All the way up there. Okay, this belt. 
At least these long belts snaking around the base make it a bit quicker and easier to get around. 29. <laughs> it's not really enough, is it? <clears throat> I don't really want to build in yellow and then have to upgrade the whole thing. I don't need underground belts for now. So I'll um, I'll pull up that inserter for a little while and uh, and let the um, let the belt machine run a bit faster. You know what? Let's forget this for a, a few minutes. Let those belts build up a bit more. What I'm going to do first is grab those. Um, actually, how many how many Mark II assembly machines do I have? Lots. Okay, good. I'm going to upgrade the uh, crushed stone into walls system further up. So if I can find where I was building the um, steel furnaces, which is there. Okay, I've got lots. <laughs> More than enough. Head way up north. Via a power pole or two. Okay, so the plan is upgrade all of these to the next tier up. Like that. All of these two. Am I dropping stone furnaces all over the place? I am indeed. I should get rid of, I need to get rid of a lot of these um a lot of these grey belts that I'm carrying around with me, because they're basically useless. Except they can be turned into faster belts, which is... Okay, I take it back. It is actually a good use for them. Oop, well, that went quickly. But I don't want to leave stone furnaces scattered all over the floor, because I just know at some point they're going to find their way onto a belt or something, and they're going to clog something up, and they're going to go, what on earth, what the hell is a stone furnace doing here? And then you'll all ridicule me, I'm sure. Okay, and I think I also need to upgrade all of these inserters. Yeah, that's all flowing in quite happily now, and all getting used up. How's this doing for space pretty full hmm I might need to do another frenzied emptying of that again at some point or alternatively maybe the actually maybe the, actually maybe the answer is to build up another one of these systems up here to get rid of anything that overflows and then that way it'll fill up on um, it'll make sure I've got all the stone bricks I know what to do with and then um, allow me to and then just allow me to dump away all the rest of it as mineralized water that's probably quite a good idea. I should do that. I'm not going to just yet, but I probably should. In fact, why not? What do I need? I need chemical plants, and I need clarifiers. Oh, and I need a supply of water. Can I get water up here relatively easily? Yes, there's a lake right here. That's not too bad. <laughs> That's a lot of um, death and destruction. No, I think one or two things at a time. So, let's see. Where am I building? That? Here is, here's where I'm building those um, steel furnaces. And I also want to make the um, steel chemical furnaces, and they require steel pipes. So that's going to be another one of these here. Um, and, uh, okay, so I'm going to need that. That belt's going to have to go underneath there in order to get the supplies out over here. Which means that has to go there, which means the pipe one goes there. Steel pipe. Okay, so that tank is emptied, so this setup here can't keep up with this, but it very nearly can, by the looks of it. So if I make, um, let's see, five, five of these air compressors and three chemical plants, that might keep that might keep me going. Uh, oops, they were called filters, weren't they? Yes, and I need a lot of stone bricks for that, and I need to ditch a lot of this rubbish as well. Get rid of all of that. I'm not going to use those anymore. Actually, I will a little bit, probably, knowing me. Um, I need to research bigger inventory, basically, I think. Uh, and I think that's going to come with um, various types of advanced armour, which is a bit of a shame. So we have five of those. And chemical plants. I'm going to get the better chemical plants from... I don't know where they're from. Yeah, those ones. So that requires more steel, and I'm going to need lots of iron as well. So I can do that from down here. What's these things? don't actually need quite that many. I'm going to want a tank as well to, put all, to keep the oxygen in. So that's 25,000. Those are 2,500. Let's have a... There's oil. Oh, no, let's take that one. Okay, so I think... I, kinda, I want to separate out the, um, the oxygen production from the rest of it, I think. So I'll put in my air things down here. And the chemical factories... Where they are? There they are. In there. I need more pipes. Pipes are up here. I don't know. Pipes are quite simple. They're just iron. So you'd think I'd have started making them quite early on. Yes, there they are. How's my underground pipes? Pretty low as well. There we go. Okay, so I've got an array of machines making compressed air. And 
they can be hooked up to these machines that will turn the compressed air into, or they, they will split the compressed air. That one. I'm going to need a flare stack to get rid of the nitrogen because I can't use that. I should put that over here, I guess. And that way I can I can expand relatively easily across to the left here if I need to, or when I need to. And then this can come out like this. And we can just feed that straight up into the um, chemical furnaces up in this area that are taking all of the iron input and turning it into the much more useful steel. Well, I say much more useful, the also required steel. How many chemical furnaces have I got so far? 20. It's a start, I suppose. Okay, so from up here, what have we learned about capacity of a red belt? I'm not really sure, to be honest, because it's kind of choking and overloaded, <laughs> being refilled and stuff. The red belt is nearly doing all of them, and I've got... Let's try with eight to start with, shall we? Or maybe... You know, I don't know. Let's put them in eights. Let's make them nine. Because... No, eight. Oh, I don't know. And then from this, we'll have a belt carrying it out like that. And a belt carrying it in, but that'll be a red belt. And then there'll be a set of these over here. We'll just mirror the, mirror it as far as we can. And then there'll be a pipe running up here and down here. Link the oxygen up like that. And then up to all of the furnaces like this. Right. Oh, I see why that's not working quite as neatly as it should. Because there's an offset in these, I should have put these these inserters in like this. And then I could put the power poles in one space higher as well. There we go. Now, I need to feed coal and iron in on each of these. So I'm going to need to bring over a belt of coal from over here. That's going to have to come in a little bit lower, because there's already something on that level. Okay, well that's the output done. <laughs> now I need to do the inputs as well. And for that, I'm going to need more red belts. Car? Car? Where's my car? Oh, oh, goodness sake. Right up there. Forget it. I'm going to just ride the, um, ride the uh, bus down there. One of the other things I look forward to getting is exoskeleton legs, so I can move around a lot quicker. 200. Excellent. How much of the other things? Got loads of undergrounds and some splitters. <clears throat> 200 should be enough for this project, I think. Oh, this is, this is just a waste product. That's fine. I don't care if that's um, not a full belt. Alright, here we go. There's my oxygen generation up here to this system then right I'm gonna pull up this bit and turn this into a four to four balancer like that mm. no not that four to four go there because I don't need that bit and it's already just gone through those two splitters so I don't need that so what I need now where are my red belts here are my red belts is that going in in there and there there we go four belts easy as that that one can go up there. This one can carry on going over there. These two. I've over this is a bit overkill actually. I don't need I only actually need one red belt for these at the moment. Maybe I'll make I'll, I'll probably want to make another two sets, so let's call that a start. And then run this over here with a splitter, yeah, a splitter like that. Oh no, no, not like that. Like that. I mean they'll take it in quite happily, but <laughs> I can do that. There we go. Okay, so that's now turning one red belt coming out of here into a half red belt here and another half here, so that's two. And now we're learning that one full red belt of iron is enough to run about one, two, three, about five, uh, slightly more than five. I'm not sure exactly, that's a hard number to judge. <laughs> um, I reckon probably six. Let's call that six and make another set of the same. Except I can't because there's a massive great cliff in the way. So I'll put those in. And I'll... But I can't do those. So I'll remove all of that. Um, and I'll just... In fact... Can I undo? No, I can't. Um, forget that. Let's paste it in here instead. Um, yeah, that'll, that, that'll work. Eventually I'll learn not to do that, and to be a bit more careful when I'm joining belts together like that. And I'll have a bit less... When I do that, when I do learn that, I'll have a bit less clean-up to do each time I try and build something like this. Ooh, I've hit maximum capacity of this um, iron generation system now. It's not pulling it through as fast as it... Um, it's, it's not producing it quite as fast as I'm trying to pull it out. 
Still, uh, that's only going to be a problem temporarily until this gets backed up like that, and yeah, then it'll be a problem again once this actually starts working. But uh, oh well, that. What? How many have I got of these? Not enough. More, 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 more. Those. Uh, ooh, don't make that many. Damn it! One insert a short. That's ridiculous. Right. Well, I've now got a decent steel manufacturing facility going on, but of course I've run out of. Um, that means I'm, I'm now longer, no longer producing enough iron. And in fact, well, how's the train getting on? Yeah, maybe I need to um, think about loading and unloading my trains a bit quicker, because that's gonna be a problem. I can't get if I can't get the iron, the uh, the sapphire down here fast enough, then this system is just gonna. Well, it's just going to run out like it has now. And then I've got not got remotely enough iron coming through. Now, let's see. There's a couple of things I can do here. One is try and get this station and, I suppose, this station running a bit quicker. And I can do that by putting another set of inserters on the other side. Or perhaps by upgrading my um, stack inserter bonus. Did I reckon I could do that? Yes, there's another one of those available. So let's research that. I can't get the, I can't get the third one um, because it requires blue because it requires blue science as well and I haven't got that but um, yeah I can get the um, I can get the set the second one and then I can put a second set of them down the other side of the train to unlock to double the speed of the unload and then somehow squeeze that in around here somewhere because <clears throat> I need to get it feeding in on both of these lines actually that's not too difficult I'll just put in a splitter here and feed into it and a splitter here and feed into it okay so I can do that um, and then the next thing is probably to get more sapphirite trains going. So that means getting a couple of mines going down here. And then I can have, while this train is unloading, or rather while this train is loading up at the top, I can have another couple of trains in down here trying to unload. Now I'll need to make a bit of a stacker for this, but that's alright because I've got plenty of space down here. I can have it, and these trains are tiny, so I can stack some, several of them in here. So I think that's going to be, oh, and that's an easy, not a relatively easy base to take on because it's only got medium uh, critters. I'll probably want to take that one out as well. How's this one doing? Yeah, that's got one large, but the rest and um, very little else. So that's going to be difficult, I suspect. So it looks quite big. But yeah, if I get, if I take out these bases up, these things up here, then it should be relatively easy to build a wall across. Maybe about here, uh, then maybe up here, or maybe all the way across. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I can start mining this one, this one, maybe even this one as well. Or that's quite small and barely, barely worth it. And they're getting nice and big down here, so as I start to get better at fighting, I can push a bit further down and get even more sapphirite. How, how are we? For, is there, unless there are any, are there any patches up here around? No, it seems that sapphirite all seems to be off to the south. So if I can get these three or four patches, maybe even this tiny one here, then that'll put me in a good position. Okay, well let's start with the um, the relatively simple things. So if I come down here and get some more um, more stack inserters, I can start building up on the other side allowing me to empty the trains a bit quicker into chests and uh, and therefore have a bit more buffer built up as well I hope. Here we go, stack inserters. Oh and I need more load as well. Yay let's put even more load on the steel. <laughs> okay so up here we need another row of these boxes on this side of the train and then a row of these stack inserters and then fast inserters and that will allow me to pull the um, resources out of the train at literally twice the speed I can put at the moment. Amazing that even fits. I'm not sure why I'm using red um, splitters here. That seems a bit overkill. Let's replace these with yellows because that's what I've got coming out the other side. Maybe it's, maybe I was trying to future-proof it. I don't know. There. So now when the train comes in, it'll, uh, I'll have it unload with all um, 24 inserters per truck. No, 24 inserters per train, sorry. And that'll empty it out much, much more quickly. And it'll also create a little bit more of a buffer in these chests. Oh, I feel like I should do something about this. I can't remember how. I think I can remember how, but it requires more space than I've got. Because you have to feed this output back to the, to the input. And have another splitter on the in inside there. And I haven't got room to do that in this, um, in this station, unfortunately. Oh well. How's that filling up? I mean, that does fill up fairly quickly, to be fair. It's not like it's sitting there for ages waiting very very slowly filling up is pretty quick it's just not really quick enough but if I build more stations then yeah that'll be fine okay let's build an inserter down here while I'm waiting uh, not an inserter a stacker so we're going to need room for one of these trains 
which is about that far. So let's continue that a bit further. So the idea of a stacker is that it allows you to fit, have more trains waiting in the station, or waiting, or rather not waiting in the station, waiting for the station. So you can have um, a bit more. So you can have, essentially have them queuing up. Uh, and in fact, there's no essentially about it. You're quite literally having them queuing up. Um, and it means you can have multiple multiple trains waiting for the same station, oops, without taking up too much space. I hope that top one's long enough. I think it will be. I'm trying to remember how you do this. Uh, so let's see. You have the trains. So I want uh, one of these there, I think. Yes, because they'll wait at the you yeah, they'll wait at those until it's free space, and then I have these on the inputs like that. I think that's the right way around. It's been. I have to admit, it has been a while since I did one of these. Reasonably sure that's right. <laughs> we'll, fi we'll find out once I get some trains in there, and if, if, it, if, it, if it just doesn't work, then I'll, uh, I'll fix it. So yeah, the tra this train is now getting unloaded twice as quickly as it would have been otherwise, because there's inserters on both sides pulling all of the ore out. And it slows down how quickly it pours out of these chests as well, so the chests get a bit more of a chance to fill up, which means I've got a bit more of a buffer, so when the train clears off, I've got a bit. It'll take a bit. It'll take a little bit longer before I run out of run out of all of my uh, supplies in the station, and hopefully now it'll be, yeah. And it's still not enough iron um, to keep the supply going of what I'm, what I'm need, what what I'm wanting here. Although I do notice now, actually, with um, some satisfaction, I, I see that the um, heart, one of the one of the sides of the belt is now more or less backed up all the way. So it is, it is definitely getting used. It's definitely being produced faster than it's getting used. And if we look, presumably, if we look down at the bottom, we'll find it's just taking it all from one side of the belt. Yes, and that's why that's why one side's emptying more than the other. Um, but yeah, that's that's good. We are very close to catching up on this with this steel production. Maybe I'll. Oh no, there's no point in going through and replacing all of these with better um, better furnaces because they're mostly not getting used because there just simply isn't enough um, of the ore coming through. Is it backing up anywhere? No, it's not. It is coming out of these crushes as fast as possible. Yeah. I might need to build another bigger iron refinery somewhere else and then just pipe the iron into here and I don't know. I was hoping not to need to do not to need to rebuild these for a while. <laughs> um Yeah, the weak point is definitely these crushers. Maybe I can I wonder if I can build crush a, a better type of crusher. What's this? Advanced or refining two. That gets me Mark three crushers, which takes brass and concrete bricks and alien plates. I haven't got all of that yet. No, let's let's leave that for now. Right. So where are we? So okay. So that's my. Um, so at the moment things are going quite well. I think I need to put some. Um, I need to put a, uh, a thing on the top of here to deal with the crushed stone once the bricks fully back up, like they're starting to do. Um, I might go in and sp spray some more bricks around because uh, there's still quite a bit of my peninsula here that isn't bricked over. Um, I can top that up quite a lot. Maybe carry on into this corner. Maybe actually, no, just carry on down the bus. I think. Uh, so there's quite a lot of space there for that to be used up. Um, and then I think that's and that'll probably be a good point to call it an episode. In the next one, I'll go out, do a bit of combat down here, and then start claiming these sapphire patches around the bottom um, and lusting after these ones down here that I don't have the um, <laughs> that I don't think I've really got the um, ability to go and get yet. So. Right, let's go and get the car. I shall empty my inventory into some boxes, fill the car and my inventory up with stone bricks, and then go and redecorate. What was that? I did leave it up here somewhere, didn't I? Oh no, it's right up over there. <laughs> okay, there's an inventory dumping place. And there's the car. Okay, the car has a smaller inventory than I thought. Still, it doubles the amount I can get rid of in one go. Ah, let's just break everything on the way back down through the base. Can't see that going badly, and I haven't got any repair packs with me because I ditched everything in my um, that, uh, silo up at the top. Right, let's try and make this neat. So I want to start from about here and just lay bricks all the way down here like this, like this, just down to the railway lines for now. Back up like this, and I should leave a tiny gap next to the road to make the uh, <laughs> the theoretical road a little bit more obvious. Maybe I should be replacing it with concrete or something. Oop, there we go. So all of those bricks gone. I don't think I've got concrete yet, though. Um, I could probably get it. I don't. I don't actually know. I don't know how concrete, how difficult concrete is to uh, to research. But for now, I'll just stick with what I've got. I kind of wish that right from the beginning, I'd made 
paths around the base and I'd made them sort of I'd said to myself yes these are the paths I shall not I shall never violate them as it, as it were um, and then I'd be able to just point the car in any direction and just go um, as it is the, the paths were a bit of an afterthought and I think it started to have trouble getting around the base I was thinking that maybe I should do something about it and I didn't really do it very well oh well there we go that's nice and neat yeah those islands are now mine as well all this land. This is all mine. Claim it all. <laughs> yeah, so my empire is, is gradually expanding. My my empire of stone. Right. Well, I said I'd call it an episode at that point. Um, I am actually going to go back up and pick up the, uh, the stuff I dumped into that um, container further up north. And then maybe repair some of the stuff I've been driving into as I've been bimbling up and down the base like a lunatic. Where is it? There it is. What's in that one? Oh, that's, that's silicon. Now I can repair... See that kept driving to that and that and there was a pipe down here somewhere there it is don't want that to break I need that water for um, oh circuits the more advanced circuits how are those supplies going okay that's another thing that's going to be a concern then I see um, not too much of a concern actually I am basically keeping up with with uh, demand it's only come down to here so I think that's currently okay but I'm gonna need to keep an eye on that and think about it how are we doing down here this is Okay, the the bronze is needs to do some catching up. I should probably increase my bronze supply. So I guess that just means another of these um, casting machines because this seems to take whatever it is, whatever this is doing, and whatever this is doing. This one takes a lot less time than this one, so I can have more of these running off one single one of those machines. Um, so yeah, so bronze and what was the other? Oh, what was I? What was it I needed to mine more of? Is it stereotype sapphire? Sapphire. And sapphirite mining. Right, so I think I've kind of sorted the steel production. So I'm going to tick that off my list for now. Um, it's not perfect by any means. Um, but it is, at least at the moment, it is keeping up with demand. Um, as in, one half of it's got completely backed up, therefore it must be. Uh, let's put in a belt balancer here, actually. Um, in fact, let's not put it there put it there, then I can do this, there we go, and then it looks deliberate, <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, I believe this means it is keeping up with demand, it's just not splitting it evenly between the two sides of the belt, because it's, it's not being pulled evenly from the two sides of the belt, so once this stream here, uh, wherever it is, here, flows all the way to the bottom, which will take a while, because my bus is, oh, in fact, it already was starting to back up, ah, because these, have, these red belts have stopped being built, that's why. That was what was taking it all up. Okay, so yeah, steel production is definitely sorted for the time being, but it's very much limited by this iron production here. So I think I'm going to call it good enough for now, even though it pains me a little bit to say that when it's clearly struggling. I can't speed this up. Oh, I could, actually, I could. I could put in more more rows of crushers and have them just feeding one one row of furnaces each instead of two. That's probably what I'm going to have to do, and then I'll feed them off the other side of each of these belts, and yeah, that'll be that'll be okay. Okay, so um, another another iron boost that that can go on the to-do list, and therefore, but and also boosting the input as well to deal with that. <clears throat> Why is this? Oh, is this getting used up so much because of the steel production? The ammunition factory is fine because it's it's fully backed up. Although I'm going to change that fairly soon once I go out and start uh, fighting the, the the creepy crawlies again. It's interesting. You can see the areas that aren't being attacked because they've still got yellow ammunition in that on their on their belts. If we look around here, this red has made it quite a long way round. Oh, in fact, it's made it to about here. Okay. So if, as we get more and more combat going on up here, eventually the red ammunition will make it through, and well, as far around here as is necessary. How about down at the bottom here? I can't. Oh, yeah. It's all yellow all the way along here. So we've obviously not been getting a huge amount of combat around here. Um, no, there's just scattering the little pink things down here. So these biters have been reasonably well behaved. They've not been <laughs> causing quite as so much trouble. It's in fact, yeah. If I look at this, it's yellow all the way. Wow, all the way back to back to here. So yeah, there's been a lot. There's a lot of a lot of yellow ammunition to still be pulled through down here. Which is, I don't know. I I sort of wonder if I should put a, fi a filter inserter somewhere down here, or a f and just grab out all of the yellow stuff and and feed it back in to be recycled into 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 the red, because I don't 
if I'm starting, if I'm going to be expanding, I don't really want to be expanding with turrets and having turrets that are shooting yellow ammunition because they might get into trouble. And these ones over here, that's interesting. They've, they've pulled through the red ammunition all the way through, but none of them have actually started using it yet. So they've still got little bits of ammunition left in them, which will presumably get used up, and then and then they'll start pulling in the red. Um, up here, they've all gone. Well, a lot of them have gone red. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a bit of an aside. So, yes. What have we? Where have we got to? Iron and steel is a bit a bit happier now. Or at least I'm a bit happier with it. Uh, but we need a lot more iron supply coming in. I'm going to consider looking into yeah. Let's the the other thing to consider is is building train two uh, or at least cargo wagon two. I don't care so much about the locomotives, which is a good thing because they require invar and um, red circuit boards. But these ones just oh, these ones require invar as well. So yeah, at some point I'm going to need to look into invar to make better trains. But uh, again, that's going to be a few a few episodes down the line. For now, yeah, I'm I'm happy with this. I think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it an episode here. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or you think I should have done anything differently, or even, to be honest, if, you, if you're curious as to why I've done something and you're wondering what uh, and, um, and, you, you, and you want me to explain something, then please leave, leave a comment. I'll be happy to um, talk about this even more. And, and to be honest, give me something to talk about as well while I'm uh, going out and just building things up. So, um, yeah, I hope to hear from you soon. And I'll see if not even... And either way, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.